this video, I'm going to talk about what got me into cars. The very first car that ever stood out to me was a MK4 Toyota Supra. I know everybody likes to say that that car is, uh, it's almost like a trend to say that that car is overrated, even though it has like probably the best engine ever, the 2JZ. That car just looks so different from any other car, and it has the most unique sounding engine. <laughs> same engine as the Supra. I was like, whoa, this is awesome. From that moment on, it was, that was the fastest car ever until I went into pretty much any other car that actually has a decent amount of power because that was an NA 2JZ GE and not the GTE. That car still looked sick. My uh, dream JDM car is a Toyota Aristo, which actually birthed the Toyota Supra. It was the first car to have the 2JZ, so, you know, a cool looking four door sedan that basically is the same thing as a Supra. So hell yeah, in my book. And my, my dad, he had um, a 68 Ford Gran Torino, and this was, you know, way before I was born, but he would always tell me stories about it, stupid stuff, running from the cops, doing burnouts at like every stoplight that really got me into fours. His had a 302 on it. My truck came up on a Craigslist ad and it was for sale for $600. It didn't run, it had been sitting for two years and it's carbureted, so of course it didn't just run. <laughs> I stopped in over there, saw that it had a 302 on it. And I was like, okay, well, I know what this is. This is the same engine that was in, that's in Mustangs and my dad's Torino. Oh yeah, so I looked at underneath my truck and saw that the frame looked new, basically. Even though the body had a lot of rust, I didn't care about that. I got it. At first, I just wanted to make it like an off-road truck, even though it's two-wheel drive, because I was little and didn't know any better. Well, after I got my license, I quickly learned that, because from just doing research, that my truck is supposed to make like 130 horsepower factory and it's way fat too fast to make be making that much <laughs> previously had built this thing. It dawned on me when I bought the truck, it had a uh, shift light set at 6,500 RPMs, which is way higher than I rode it. 302s shouldn't even be revved over 6,000 RPMs, which is not designed for it. They're a short rod ratio engine. But uh, man, this thing is so much fun to drive. <laughs> Noticing that even compared to newer vehicles, like I have to drive a Nissan Sentra sometimes at work, this truck handles really good <laughs> for what it is. It's extremely fun to drive, so I want to. That made me want to. 
get into autocross and time attack and uh i haven't done that yet because it's lack of money but i do want to do that i've always been more into uh, road course or type racing instead of like drag racing and drifting which is what this seems like every youtuber is into i ended up getting my truck for 400 dollars he just kept talking himself down from 600 to 500 and then 400 so i got that truck for 400 dollars and i have maybe maybe a couple thousand in it and most of that was towards fixing it up, making it drivable, maybe, I would say, less than a thousand in actually performance mods, and it probably makes three to four hundred horsepower. I've never dynoed it, but I can't get over how fast that stupid thing is. I mean, it, I thought the Lexus was fast with its seven seconds, zero to sixty time. This thing will do it in four it's like holy crap i've never been in a vehicle faster than this I've, of course i live in cincinnati where there's rarely any cool cars but what also has gotten me more into like american v8s like the 302 in my truck which i love is the torque <laughs> So, especially after recently my mechanic had to fix something in the distributor, I don't even know what it's called, which hence why I took it to a mechanic. Um, he added a ton of timing. I didn't ask him to do that, but he knows I like to go fast, so he added a ton of timing. And now I have to run 93 octane, which is fine, whatever. But when I hit the gas now, even just at like 2,000 RPMs hit the gas, it, the whole truck lifts up. Like you can feel the uh, drivetrain pushing the axle down, almost like a drag car, it's so cool. I wish I had a video of that, but I don't, but I will at some point. This is much my story on how I got into cars. I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video. Sound check, sound check, sound check, sound check. Can I talk quietly? Still hear me? Because that would be pretty loud. That was sound check because the fan right next to my phone was on and I completely forgot about it. Can you hear me?